Hello, welcome to Divine Honesty, and I'm back with another reading. Today, we're going to be reading for Aries, and today we're just going to do a general reading, okay? Not every card or representation of a card is going to re resonate with every Aries. Therefore, I do have other videos that you can look into on my YouTube channel. And I have X videos, so feel free to go there and look at some more videos. Just put press my picture. Also, I do have a group on Facebook called Divine Honesty. There we talk about spirituality, funny, we love to laugh, motivation. And it's a community where I um, <clears throat> just connect with like-minded individuals, okay? I also do tarot uh, tips and relation tips as well. With that being said, let's get started. Of Aries. What is the overall energy of Aries? Okay. Ooh, well. We have the Four of Swords. So taking a step back meditating okay think about how things really connect to you okay what things mean all right also this can represent thinking about hurtful situations and how you're tired of having to defend yourself how you're tired of having to have certain situations come in your life that make you feel down and out okay this also means giving up giving up on someone or something or an idea all right then we have the justice some of you are dealing with the libra or you could have libra in your chart this means things are be are fair okay or you wanting things to become fair um this also deals with consequences legal aspects okay we'll get more into that then we have the Nine of Pentacles. For some of you, you are single or you feel like you will be happier single or some of you are looking to be in a relationship. This card also represents, however, when you are single or focusing on your independence, it will bring you abundance, okay? You just have to align with that. Align that you are more than enough for your happiness. Okay, let's see how this layout plays out for you, Aries, okay? And with this, you know what? You owe yourself an apology for letting people get comfortable with treating you like you're average. You're not average, Aries. You're one of the most forceful signs. You're the cardinal signs. You start shit and you can finish it. Okay? You come up with the ideas. You're the active one. Okay? You're the go-getters. Okay? Okay? Remember, you know, despite how open and peaceful and loving you attempt to be, people only can meet you as deeply as they have met themselves. Let things play out. Consequence and just is on your side. Don't try to also with you, even though you do have that forceful, you know, let's get shit done energy. Sometimes you have to take a step back and let things play out and believe the laws of the universe cause and effect consequences things will play out try to be on the first side okay remember people can only understand and deeply understand and connect with you only if they can deeply understand within themselves okay so if some people are on surface level ideas that's the only thing they're going to take from you okay and then with this nine of pentacles, your time is coming. It's about to happen for you. I'm talking about breakthroughs and blessings. Keep believing in yourself. Keep praying for yourself. And watch how y'all your life will change for the better. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and get some <clears throat> clarity on these cards. So two cards already jumped out with clarity for this. Now, let's get some clarity for the Nine of Pentacles. Bam. So, ooh, Four of Pentacles. Let that pain go. Let that go. Also, with this, is 
know that you're enough okay know that you're enough you don't have to be anything extra you don't have to strive for anything just being is your purpose a lot of people feel like oh i have to find my purpose i have to do this and, and achieve this and that in order to find my purpose what i'm here for you're here for what you're here for okay some people purpose is with has nothing to do with they enjoy doing or what they want to do in life that's totally separate for example george floyd did not wake up one morning thinking that he is going to die and therefore be and have a purposeful life when it comes to change that just happened after his life okay we are all aligned to something bigger than us our purpose for humanity is bigger than just us okay it's okay with being happy with just being you don't need anything else to be happy Aries you can just be happy by just being alive then you have the nine of pentacles so I'm saying some of you are probably going through heartbreak probably going through just being single or you're wanting to be single you feeling like I'm feeling like some of you are feeling like you're you're supposed to be single. Just knowing right now, for some of you, it's your karma to be single. Things happen for a reason for you to be single. You're going to understand life on a deeper level um, when you're single. Also, you know, if you are in relationships and this nine of pentacles is here, it represents wish fulfillment, okay? You can, o you can only understand yourself in your wishes, okay? Once you deeply connect to what you want what is right for you it's okay to be selfish okay you're only here for you when you die it don't matter not your mama not your daddy not your brother nobody your children is going with you it's you in this bitch okay it's you don't forget that I feel like some of you if you are going through a court case any legal situation anything that's unfair as long as you focus on yourself and you focus on the good, whatever you focus on, you give power to. So if you can focus on this idea of abundance within yourself, then that's how things are going to play out, okay? And it does depend on what size you're on. If you're on the first side, you're fine, okay? And then you have the Six of Pentacles. Wow. So the Six of Pentacles also represent giving, charity, looking out for people who are less fortunate, becoming someone else's blessing. Also, it means blessings in disguise. So I'm saying, wow, I'm saying you're going to be in the financial position where you can help people out. You're going to understand this independence and this abundance, and then you're going to be able to spread this with fairness, okay? Just be fair. Also, make sure you're not um doing things just to get something in return do this out of your own abundance because when you allow money to go freely it comes back freely that's how a lot of these motherfuckers are rich they're not rich because they keep in money they're rich because they keep investing money they're letting money flow out so with a law of attraction you let things flow out you're going to get things flowing in that's the law of attraction okay now, if this reading resonates, please like, share, and subscribe. Like I said, I do have X readings. So if you want more insight on your X, please look at my channel. Again, I do have a um, Facebook group called Divine In Honesty, where like minded visuals, individuals, sorry, as such as yourself, are able to communicate and uplift each other. And with that being said, Bye to my divines, and this has been another Divine Honesty.